Hey guys, it's Tina here. I just got up, so don't mind my messy hair. Today, I want to film something a little bit different, something a little bit more raw, maybe less polished. And I thought, you know, I haven't done a Tina Sashimi video in a while. I haven't really updated you guys with what's been happening with my life and how I've been feeling about my channel, just all that stuff. Plus, I want to combine it with like a skincare video and show you guys what I use on my face because I get asked that a lot. And to be honest, I've been putting off doing like a dedicated skincare video because I just use a lot of products on my face and it always changes and I'm always trying new things. So yeah, I guess that kind of made it hard for me to kind of like sit down and film like a skincare routine video when I don't really have like a set routine that I stick to for too long. But um, I'm gonna show you all the products that I use today or what I'm gonna put on my face because it really changes and I really mix it up every day according to how my skin feels. So maybe when you guys see me apply all these products, you might feel like, oh my God, that's a lot of product. But just know that I once upon a time started off with like a three step skincare routine and now I don't even know how many steps I have, but let's just, uh, let's just get started. First things first, I should brush my teeth. Lucky you guys can't smell my morning breath. I'm almost out of toothpaste. Question, do you guys like do little circles? Are you a back and forth person? How do you brush your teeth? This part is gross, so I'm gonna like do it off camera. I literally like scrape my tongue and clean my tongue with this and all oh, this gunk always comes out every morning. It's nasty. I think I almost like gagged doing that. Okay, so let me just tie my hair back. If I'm looking this way, I'm just looking at the monitor and using that as my little mirror. So don't think I'm rude and not looking at you guys. Let me show you guys all my skincare. Believe it or not, I actually have a lot more skincare than this, but this is the products that I am using currently. We just have a mixture of stuff, you know, like serums, and we've got eye creams, moisturizers, cleansers, um, more serums, more moisturizers, sunscreen, you know, like all that jazz. So for cleanser, I think I'm gonna use this one first. This is a new one. So this cleanser is from an Australian brand. Um, I've been using it for the last week. I've just been kind of like testing out their products. They reached out to me and wanted to work with me. Um, so I told them like, I'll test out your products first and see if I like it. And I actually quite like their cleanser. So I'm just gonna lather that on. I really like the smell of this. So I, I've been using this for the past week in the morning. And then at night I've been using this one, the COSRX Salicylic Acid Daily Gentle Cleanser. I've been using that at night. I got bubbles up my nose. I'm just gonna wash this off. Alrighty, nice and clean. I'm gonna try this product out next. This is, can you see that? Yes, you can. This is from Fresh. It is the Vitamin Nectar, Vitamin C Glow Powder. It says it's a 30 second foaming facial. I've never tried it. I went to the event and they gave everyone this, so I'm gonna test it out now. Comes in a little sachet like this. Using dry hands, fold in half and tear open, pour both packets into hand to activate. Add the equivalent of a teaspoon of water and mix. I feel like I'm like opening a packet of sugar. So I'm just gonna empty this onto my hand. This is kind of messy. I don't know how I feel about it. You know what it smells like? It smells like, like mandarins or something. It smells citrusy. So I'm just mixing a bit of water with that. Totally out of focus. Oh, this is so messy. This is so messy. It's just going everywhere. It's going on my face. It smells like multivitamins for some reason. Oh, it's tingling. Oh my God, it's tingling on my skin. Oh, it's really tingly. Okay, I think I'm gonna wash it off. It's too tingly. That was really strong. I wouldn't recommend that for sensitive skin. I feel like that was really strong. Whew. My skin is a little bit red after that part. You know what, it feels really nice. It feels really smooth. Wow. Anyways, let's talk about what has been happening. A lot of you guys have been commenting on my latest videos saying that I feel a lot happier, that I'm back to my bubbly self and you guys can see it. And to be honest, I have been a lot, a lot happier. 
and you know since that mental breakdown video where I like cried and bawled my eyes out on the internet as you do um, since then I've made a couple of changes that I feel like have really helped me with like my anxiety um, and just like when I'm, whenever I'm feeling down I feel like the changes that I've made have really helped me get out of that a big thing that's changed is now I go back and I just film everything myself so Alfred no longer helps me film and that takes the pressure off both of us I feel like when I'm alone with my camera and just talking to you guys it just comes off a lot more natural I don't feel as much pressure or I don't feel like I have to second guess myself with am I saying that correctly or if I you know if I stuff up somehow, like I don't feel the pressure as much as when I have Alfred in the room. It's really weird because I'm super comfortable with Alfred, but it's just a little bit different. And same for him, like he is not trained in videography or editing. So, you know, helping me film, it's, it's outside his comfort zone too. So now he's kind of going back to do like the finance side, the operation side um, to the business. And like um, he looks after petite cosmetics. So that's really helped change the mood when it comes to like, YouTube. Also, it's helped with our relationship because we have like less arguments or less like tense moments, I shall say. Another thing that you guys may have noticed is that I don't upload as regularly. Like I kind of pulled back and just thought to myself, look, if it's making me unhappy and I feel like that pressure and stress to create content, like two videos a week, that's too much. I'll just pull it back. I'll just kind of do it when I feel like filming and that has really helped because before like I felt like oh I need to get two videos out a week but then if that day like I wake up and I feel like really crap about myself and I don't feel good then I try to put on that fake smile for you guys and make that video happen just because I have to stick to my schedule so now I'm less strict on that and that has really helped with like my lifestyle in general and now I've been splitting my time between YouTube and my two other small businesses so those petite cosmetics and mark and scribe I split my time between the two and I'm kind of treating like my small businesses as like my nine to five like a full-time job and then YouTube is my like side hobby and so I've kind of changed the way I've looked at it and how I kind of spend my time doing it and I it does definitely help because now I feel like I look forward more to filming and to sit down and chatting with you guys and connecting with you guys and reading the comments and it just kind of feels like the beginning again where YouTube has become my escape so I really want to go back to that and like what I'm doing now I feel like it has definitely helped in saying all that like with all the beauty community drama online like I've been sucked into that vortex and I've just been down that rabbit hole watching all these like drama videos and I mean it makes me really sad and it also makes me really scared to see like how ugly the beauty community is and for that reason like that's why I'm like okay I, I don't want to rely on YouTube as my sole income I need to focus on my like two small businesses I want to grow them because I feel like I've got a better chance like long term with these small businesses as opposed to my my channel I feel like it's so volatile because if I slip up and mess up one day like I could you know my career on YouTube can kind of just like go down the drain like overnight as you guys have seen happen to other people it just kind of made me more aware at the fact that this doesn't last forever I mean everyone's kind of got that like not expiry date but that life cycle when you're you're on YouTube like maybe your channel is hot for you know a couple years and then your views go down and then you know got to reinvent yourself and I don't know how many times I can reinvent myself to be honest um, and so my small businesses I feel like they have more longevity and I feel like I'll, I'll be able to support like my family have like a good future if I grow and put a lot of effort into these businesses and so that is my way of thinking at the moment and yeah it's made me a lot happier and you guys can see it and I mean I, I definitely feel it okay let's move on to the next step my skin has calmed down and it is feeling smooth I like it Whew. I'm gonna put on my SK2 facial treatment essence this is like a huge bottle. It's like their limited edition bottle. It's so pretty, but it's so heavy. Normally you can use like a cotton pad to pop it on, but I just literally like dab it on my face like this. So all the product gets soaked into my skin and not the cotton pad. Cause this stuff is expensive. So this just kind of helps to even out your skin tone. 
it helps to hydrate and moisturize, but it's not like a, a moisturizer, if you know what I mean. So I just let that absorb into my skin. It doesn't take too long, I feel like it's in. Next, I'm gonna use the SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier. I'm just gonna pop a couple of drops on my face. And this is hyaluronic acid. So it really helps to plump up your skin. And then I'm just going to pat that everywhere. Now recently I was sent a little skin facial massager from SkinCeuticals. It looks like this. It's for your face, okay? I actually have a smaller version that I think I just got on like, I don't know, eBay online or yesterday or something. It's just really cheap, but I swear it kind of feels like the same thing, though this is a little bit smaller. So I usually use it like just to firm up my face and give it like a little massage after I pop some serum on so it has a little bit of slip. I think this does the same. This is just bigger and it feels heavier. It's probably better quality. I might just use it both at once. I look really silly. So this just helps to improve circulation. It also helps with lymphatic drainage and reduces puffiness. So those days where you wake up and you're like a balloon, you can just like use these massaging tools. Well, honestly, you can kind of just use your hands to like firm up and kind of lift up um, your skin as well. I love using this one for in between the eyes. It just feels really good. So now with my YouTube channel, I just focus on creating content that feels right, that that I feel like making and it doesn't feel forced. Like my latest video where I did a video tutorial speaking Vietnamese, like, oh my God. Like I was so embarrassed to do that video and I was really scared as well. And because I felt like that, I was like, oh, it's, I'm really stepping outside my comfort zone. I should just do it. I'm just gonna bite the bullet and do it. And so I filmed it and I was editing it and I was like cringing, but it was so funny because like my mom called and it was just hilarious. And I, I really liked that video and I'm glad that a lot of you guys liked it too. There was so many comments. It was like, I think my third most commented video this year. I think maybe the microscope video did the best or something in terms of comments but you guys like were so supportive like gumbug everyone like thank you so much for the support it really makes me happy and especially to kind of represent the Vietnamese community you know I'm very proud to be Vietnamese and I guess like I don't know why I never did it sooner because a lot of people just only assumed that I was Chinese or Korean or something and I never really spoke about my heritage too much so I think that's something that I really want to keep moving forward with I really want to continue doing more videos speaking Vietnamese um, I'm planning to do like a Q&A with my mum when I'm back in Sydney so that shall be fun but yeah that that video made me really really happy that it kind of gave me that feeling of like how magical YouTube is and how great it is to be able to connect with people from all over the world and also just share a piece of you like it's I don't know it's corny but it's just amazing to know that you know my video is being watched by hundreds and thousands of people and I can make an impact and even if I'm just able to kind of like make you laugh or smile just for a moment out of your day I feel really blessed that I am able to do that and YouTube is a great platform for that and I think because of all like the drama videos and the space of the beauty community now, a lot of people kind of forget why they watch YouTube videos in the first place. You know, it's not just to, to look pretty or to learn how to do a smoky eye, but it's also kind of just to escape, you know, your everyday stress and kind of just come to a place that you can kind of just chillax and just learn something or have fun and just connect with like your favorite beauty YouTuber. Sorry guys, my camera just shut off because my card was full, so I had to quickly go find a new card. But anyway, anyways, let's move on to the next step. I'm gonna be using the Sunday Riley Auto Correct Eye Cream. Just gonna pop a little bit out. And then I just pop it underneath. So I use this eye cream in the morning because it has like a little bit of this kind of like sheen to it. I don't know if you can tell, it has a little bit of like shimmer not shimmer not shimmer but it has like this little like brightening effect so i use it in the morning i just pat it in and then at night i either use the skin cuticles eye cream or the antipodes kiwi seed oil that's just what i've been doing for the last like few months and 
I don't know, it kind of works for me. Then I'm going to pop on this Medicube Red Erasing Spot Serum. It looks like a little needle, but it's just like a little rollerball at the end. And you just kind of like press the butt of it to dispense some product. So I just pop this on where all the little spots I have are, like all the little sun spots that I want to kind of fade away. I just roll it across there. I just started using this, so I'm not too sure if it works or not. I've just been using it for the last like three days, so we shall see. Great, now my camera's gonna die, so I'm gonna quickly go find a battery. Be right back. Now I'm gonna quickly spray on the fresh vitamin nectar water. I like this because it contains antioxidants, so I just like spray it all over. And then once again, let that absorb into my skin. I'm just gonna quickly put like a lip balm on. This is the Bobbi Brown, what is it called? It's an extra lip tint in bare pink. So it has a little bit of color to it, but it also helps to like moisturize your lips. I keep looking over there because the little flippy screen is there. So I'm just using that as my mirror. Sorry, I'm not being rude. Sorry. Anyways, after I posted that video speaking Vietnamese, I got a lot more questions of people wanting to know more about my family, my mom, um, my childhood, things like that. And I guess I never really shared much of that on my YouTube channel. But if you guys want to know, like you guys obviously have met my mom. She's like such an amazing person. She's just so kind, so loving, and sometimes a little bit too naive and just too trustworthy that I get scared that she's gonna like, I don't know, be scammed one day, do you know what I mean? And um, then I have like two brothers. I've got an older brother, Hua, and then my younger brother, Jimmy. So I'm like the middle child, the only girl. However, I feel like I'm the oldest because I feel like I am the most responsible one. My brothers are really carefree, they're really content. They're both single as well, ladies. Mm -hmm. My mum, she called me yesterday, it was hilarious. She was like, oh, I have this photo of my friend's daughter. Do you think your older brother will like her? Can you speak to her? Maybe he can just marry her. Like she's just so like, her way of thinking is just so old school because that's how like she met my dad that we just introduced. And I think they went on like one or two dates and they got married and that was normal back then. And I think they were quite young, like 18, 19 or something. And so like, she's kind of trying to apply the, the same principle to my brother. And it's just really hilarious because I'm like, mom, it obviously doesn't work like this. Like it's not going to work. I, I feel like they need to meet naturally and don't push like hard to, to meet someone. And she's just been complaining because she's saying like, oh, but now you're in Singapore, I'm so lonely. If I had another girl in the house, I'd be less sad. And so she's just been complaining and whining about that. But mums are just, mums are just really funny. Also, she's been nagging me about having kids. Like first she was nagging me about, oh, why don't you get married with Alfred? And um, you know, you guys are both getting old. I can look after the baby because I'm still young, but later on in a couple years, maybe I'll be too old and fragile to take care of the kids. So maybe you can just like, you know, get married, have a kid. And so now she's kind of like skipped the whole marriage like part and she's like why don't you just have a baby you know just have a baby I'll come to Singapore I'll look after the baby and she's really really funny and like she's dying to have grandkids which I will give her one day just just not not any time too soon maybe in like two years who knows comment below if you have parents like that just always nagging you about either like finding a partner getting married or having kids I'm going to pop on my moisturizer now. I'm going to be using the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. It kind of smells like seaweed or something. Not a huge fan of the smell, but I like the texture of this because it's like watery and it just absorbs really quickly into my skin. I might go in with my massager and just work it in. Let's do two of it. I also have a little jade roller that I use sometimes. Like I like to stick this in the freezer and in the morning I just use it cause it's like really cold and it just helps to like depuff everything. So I've been really into like face rollers lately. If I'm going out, I'll also pop on sunscreen. This is the Tatcha sunscreen. I think I'm just gonna pop on a little bit today just in case later when I go out. Sunscreen is super important guys. Like. Maybe when you're young, you get lazy to put it on, but as you get older, you find that it's more and more crucial because the sun is what causes premature aging. 
So I am the type that never like tans. I don't like go sun baking or anything. And I always try to cover my face and my neck area. Now, another question or comment that I always see come up on my videos or my feed is like, how do you get that V line shaped face? And I'm gonna be so honest with you guys, I get Botox around my jaw, like in my jaw muscles because I clench my teeth. I grind my teeth and it's worn out my jaw, um, like my jaw clicks sometimes and it gets locked because like I've just worn out the, the bone around that. So it's kind of bad. Um, so I've been getting Botox for the last maybe like six plus years, like a while. I get it done every six to nine months. As soon as I can feel like my jaw start to like clench and my jaw muscles get stronger, that's when I, I start getting the headaches and when I, I'm sleeping, I'm always grinding and clenching my teeth. And so that's when I go back and get it done and topped up. So what Botox does is that it weakens that muscle and it also shrinks it, hence why my face shape looks, I guess, smaller and slimmer. Before I got it done, like I feel like my jaw muscles were a lot like more prominent and that made my face like a little bit more, I don't know, like I guess wider. Um, I didn't want to create like a whole video talking about it or showing you guys procedure because I feel like I don't want to be promoting it and I don't want to be saying like everyone should be getting it done. Um, it's just something that I've been doing for like a long time and it's kind of helped me and one of the effects is that it makes me look smaller in the face area. Also, I have gotten fillers in the past like I told you guys about my chin filler and years ago I had like a nose filler but that's like completely gone. I, would, I did that like a couple times but I would just didn't like the effect of it anymore and so I kind of just let that dissolve. So filler is just kind of like dissolve naturally over time. But yeah, like I said before, I didn't really want to create like a whole dedicated video on Botox and fillers. I just feel like it's a very personal choice and if you're thinking about doing it, you need to do your research. Like there are risks involved. Like I only recently found out that if you get filler on your nose, one of the risks is that if the filler hits like a nerve or something, it can actually blind you. I didn't know that. And I mean, I got mine done like years and years ago, but like, I actually didn't even know that. I did my research, but I didn't know that was like a possibility. Like there wasn't a lot of information around um, about that online. So if you are thinking about it, like go see a professional, like make sure you ask a lot, a lot of questions and know that, you know, fillers aren't forever. I mean, unless they use some other permanent thing, but like most of the fillers, they dissolve over time. So when you get it, you might have to keep getting it if you want to maintain like a certain shape or a look, right? If you have any questions, feel free to leave it below. I'll try my best to answer them. Um, but you know, I appreciate if you guys don't leave any hate comments or anything like that. I'm just sharing my experience and my decisions with you guys. Hopefully I'm not like judged on it because the internet is such a scary place sometimes. Okay. Anyways, that is it for me. Thank you guys for tuning in to this like skincare slash Tina Sashimi slash chit chat video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye.